Convergent modeling in NX11 opens up many new and exciting applications within the design process. Here you will see an example of where we can use convergent modeling and also topology optimization to generate a new design that we can 3D print. What you can see here is our original design which was done using typical modeling techniques. Here is our new design that was developed using topology optimization. As you can see it's very different from the original part although the key connection points have still been maintained. There are three other location points that weren't included in the topology optimization but no matter with a combination of synchronous modeling and convergent modeling technology we can add these into our new convergent body. First of all we shall use the delete face command in synchronous to isolate the three connection points. We'll just move the faces of these uh, connection points to make sure that they stand proud of the convergent body. And then using convergent modeling technology we can subtract directly from the faceted geometry these three connection points and here you can see how we've now been able to complete our design using synchronous and convergent modeling technology. Manufacturing this component using traditional manufacturing techniques could prove tricky and costly However, with NX11, you are now provided with a print to 3D command that allows you to take advantage of the new and modern additive manufacturing techniques. The only caveat to this is that currently the NX11 install must be running on Windows 8.1 or later to have the ability to directly print to 3D.